Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're here to dive deep in the world of cryptocurrencies and keep an eye on the market trends using a powerful tool of technical analysis, my favorite, the divergences. Today, we're going to shine the spotlight on a big player of the game for its exceptional scalability and um, interoperability within the Ethereum ecosystem, Polygon, also known by his native token, Matic. Now, before we start, a quick but important reminder. The content I share here is for educational and informational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. What I share are my personal opinions, my calculations, and technical analysis. It is not... It is not made to be investment recommendations. The world of investing is risky and always uncertain. So please do your own research always and consider consulting with a professional before making any financial moves. Remember, your investments are your responsibility and I'm here to share insights, not guide your investment strategy. Now let's talk about Polygon. Imagine Ethereum as a busy highway that's always jammed with cars, which are transactions in the real world. It's slow and costly to get through, high transaction fees. Um, Polygon is like a super fast express, express lane built next to this highway. It lets cars zip through quickly and cheaply and then smoothly merge back into the main highway. Polygon does this magic for Ethereum, making it faster and cheaper to use. Initially, Polygon was created in 2017 by a very smart team. Um, and at that moment, it was, it was called Matic Network. Uh, by then, they rebranded to Polygon, but kept their token name as Matic, M-A. TIC. This team and this project is backed by big names and have raised a good chunk of money to build and grow Polygon. So the, to the crowd Ethereum, what Polygon essentially does is that it creates mini arena side chains where players can play more freely without waiting in line for their transactions to operate. On Ethereum. These mini games then report the scores back to the main arena without overloading it. This step up means faster games, faster transactions, and less cost gas fee for everyone. I don't know if you guys already tried to, but creating an NFT, for example, on Polygon is a breeze compared to Ethereum. It costs a fraction of the price. Polygon is not trying to replace Ethereum. It's making it better. It adds those express lanes that we talk about, so more cars, in our analogy, can enjoy the highway and without getting in traffic jam. It's a win-win situation for both Ethereum and Polygon. So in their future plans and roadmap, Polygon has big dreams. It's not just to make transactions faster and cheaper, but also they plan to connect different blockchains in a smooth, efficient way. At the end of the day, Matic, Polygon Matic, um, is really considered as a good investment and one of the big players of the game by many because it solves problems that are very obvious on the Ethereum um, network. However, remember, investing in cryptocurrencies is always risky and you should always go ahead and do your own research. Let's take a look at some details of Polygon. So we can see that the market cap is about $8 billion. It's a big player, so it's really fine. And it's all time high. So it's been, it's been here for a long time now. It's all time high is about almost $3. So right now the current price is actually about 88 cents, so it's really healthy growth if we can imagine that during this rally we are going to reach its previous all-time highs 
it's really encouraging for so, so right now like i say on all my videos right now we really are in a downward um, trend and it's totally healthy um, the market is supposed to pull back we've been up for a while and frankly we shouldn't have gone up that much because the halving didn't even happen yet it's crazy that we're already there so let's take a look on a weekly candle at polygon and right away what we can see is that there is a bad divergence on the tops um, so if we oops if we trace it here we're going to see the two tops going up on the price but on the macd if we trace the same two tops they are going down so that's not good any divergences on the top is not good they are not good they are bad for the price it means it's going to go down so where is it going to go down well I usually um, calculate it by uh, copy it and to me, at the very least, it's supposed to go down to the previous stop. But sometimes it goes further down. So right now, I can't expect it to go to the previous stop. I mean, somewhere along these lines. And by the way, it's already materialized. We're already there. So this divergence is, is over, I guess. Now it, it has been canceled because it's over. We reach the price. So let's see if we're seeing spotting anything else in a um, in any bearish type of divergences. Let's go to the daily candle. We're not seeing that much. I mean, it's pretty much. I mean, except for this one, but yeah, okay. So it's already materialized. So let's go to a four-hour candle and dive deeper into our analysis. Let's see what we have. Yeah, so, okay, we had one here appearing that I had traced previously. I just think that these bottoms are, the, uh, these tops are a little bit flimsy. There are a lot of tops in between, but let's try to see if we can spot better divergences. So something like that is already pretty apparent, I would say. So we're going up on the MACD, we're going down on the price. If we copy and paste it, and our price target should be around. So we're not really completely done falling with Polygon, I guess. Uh, of course, all this is temporary. We're going to go back uh, very soon, especially after the halving. But right now, yeah, we could we could play some sort of um, some sort of section where we should be falling like into like, maybe something like that and let's make it red so that's what i'm expecting right now i don't see anything crazy yeah i guess i see something else so let's see we have another divergence here this is bad if we're looking at the macd the macd is going up slightly or even sideways so this is a divergence that means it's going to go down Let's see where it leads us to. It's basically the same thing. So yeah, totally, I'm expecting it to go to 83 uh, cents at the very least, and at the worst, maybe 73 cents. But yeah, so now let's take a look. Um, let's take a close one. This one is pretty big divergence, though. I would say that's pretty bad. Yeah, this is going to happen. I, I would say this section is actually valid place where I can expect Polygon to end uh, up maybe around mid-April, something like that, mid-April. So now let's take a look on the weekly candle, if we see any sort of good divergences, because I think I have spotted some. Let's take a look on the daily candle, and on the daily candle, can see right away. I mean, yeah, we, we're seeing good divergences. It's just not phenomenal. It's just not going to bring us to the moon yet. But if we trace them here, we have one. Oops. Here we have one. We're going to make it green so it differentiates. It's a bullish divergence. And on the MACD, it's going down.
Yeah. Or sideways, which is still valid. It's a divergence. But more than that, if we go a little bit before that, this is even more apparent here. So this counts as a divergence as well because this is a real bottom. So let's take it and let's see what we can expect from this. So I believe we should expect for it to continue a little bit more in, in the lower section here, but eventually it's going to go back up. And I believe by May, somehow in May, maybe end of May, we should be back to $1.13 dollars. So this is a good investment. This is going to bring us serious um, surprises, good surprises. And we can even go back actually in the long term now. Here we can see that this is just the beginning of it because there is a bigger divergence that is not visible on the daily, on, on the weekly candle, but we don't have that much data here for some reason. I do believe we're going to pass the previous highs um, of Polygon that we had in March very soon. So to me, we're passing this around August. It's going to take its time, but still we're going to pass it like $1.30, which is great if you consider that we are right now at 80 cents. So it's not double but it's a healthy amount of growth so that's my take on polygon but remember the world of crypto is always full of surprises so keep an eye open on these divergences and stay curious if you find this analysis helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insight your support means a lot and helps us keep this channel going. So until next time, keep analyzing, stay informed, and let's navigate these crypto waves together.